everyone, Nina here from Love Fancy Geek, and in this video I'm going to be showing off all the cool crap that I got at this year's San Diego Comic Con. And uh, Comic Con happened a couple weeks ago, but I've just been putting off making this because I'm just really, really overwhelmed with all the crap that I bought, and I didn't want to deal with it, and um, Comic Con just leaves you super tired and not wanting to do anything at all afterwards because you're hungover off of the fact that You've been walking around straight for four days in the heat. Yeah, I'm making Comic Con sound like it's terrible. It's not. I mean, there are moments where, like, you feel like Jon Snow in the Battle of the Bastards, but in the end, everything is totally worth it. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. And one of the first things I bought was this. It is the Loot for Fangirls box by Loot Crate, and it's obviously specifically made for fangirls. And, um,. It's a limited edition box, and I don't think they have a whole lot left, so if you want to get one, like, get on it immediately. Um, like, I found out her universe was involved, so that's all I really needed to know in order to buy one. Okay, this is the dress. It's a nice black skater dress with the ladies of Marvel on it. And it's got my girl Kamala Khan right here. Love her. And, um, it also came with these Espionage Cosmetic Nail Wraps, which are my jam. Except for, I'm not familiar with Borderlands because I don't play video games, really. But, they're pretty cute. They've got, like, these little playing cards. I don't know. I feel like I can get away with wearing them because they're pretty inconspicuous, I think. And it also came with these, um, this Walking Dead, um, wrist. I can't talk, oh my god. This Walking Dead bracelet that's got a bunch of little charms that have to do with the show. I've only seen the first episode and I, I decided I couldn't hang. Like, I didn't even care that Rick was like in a tank surrounded by zombies. My main concern was the horse. I don't know. I love horses. Okay, guys. So this is the next thing and it's a really, really nice um, Star Trek cosmetic pouch or like whatever you want to put in it and it's like really good quality too it's even lined on the inside and there's boning in it to like keep the structure so it's red like Uhura's uniform and it's got the 50th anniversary logo right there on the side there are little tribbles so you guys even though I'm not that much of a Trekkie I do know stuff so uh there's Uhura there and also the USS Enterprise. So this is really cute. I like this a lot. And I know that in one of my level up videos, I was just like, oh my god, I'm overwhelmed with Star Trek. But this is different because it's the Loot for Fangirls box. It's not a level up thingy. So that's why I'm, I'm totally cool with the Star Trek thing in there. And the next thing is this really cute minifigure. It's a little DC bombshell. And my sister and I were so excited to open it because, um, you know, they're adorable, and we're like, ooh, which one are we going to get? I hope I get Wonder Woman. Little did I realize, or I didn't realize, that um, it's a Loot Crate exclusive, and it says who you're going to get. So it's a metallic Wonder Woman figure, and she's cute. Okay, look at her. So cute! Their little lasso of truth, and her cute little shirt, and her booty shorts, and her hair scarf. She's one of my faves. So there's that. And it also came with um, this coloring book by Katie Cook. And she's one of my favorite artists. Um, if you go to Comic Con and you want to get a little custom mini painting by her, her line is ridiculous. So, like, get there as soon as possible. Um, I haven't gotten a little custom painting by her in years. But um, this book coloring book is really cute because it has a bunch of different fangirl types in there. One that I relate to, I saw three that I related to, but one was named Dapper Darcy. Where'd she go? She was just there. Here she is. Look, she's so cute and busty and she's got big calves like me and wears a Peter Pan collar and a flower in her hair. So, she's my favorite in there. It also came with coloring pencils so you can color them. And um, when we purchased it, this wasn't inside of the box, but um, we were given this cute little enamel pin that says, hello, my name is Fangirl. And I love enamel pins, like, 
everyone else does. So that was exciting. Okay, and the next thing, since I expressed my love for her universe, is this adorable retro type of skirt. And it's got the Moss Isley Cantina Band done in a really, really cute mid-century style type of print. So I couldn't pass it up because it's just, it's so cute. And I got to wear it to Disneyland. And um, one of the things I like about this skirt is that they added elastic to the waistband because they didn't have this before. Because the material's pretty sturdy and it doesn't stretch. And I got um, the Avengers pinup style skirt last year that they had. And um, same material, no elastic. So it was a little, just a little uncomfortable to wear. Still cute though. And, um, ooh, story time, really quick. I got to go to um, the Geek Biz -er Business of Geek Fashion panel, and Ashley Eckstein, the founder of Who Universe, was there. And my friend Travis, who knows her, um, he came to the panel too. And afterwards, I was like, Travis, can you introduce me to Ashley? Because, like, you know, huge fan. Um, but I didn't want to just go up to her and be like, hi, because I'm like, I'm stupid shy. So when he went up to introduce me, um, you know, he's like, hey, this is my friend Nina. And she's just like, I know who you are. And I was like, what? What? Huh? Huh? You do? And she's like, yeah, you're a fancy geek. We're friends. And I was like, oh, Ashley Eckstein knows who I am. And she said, we're friends. Like, what? And she said, we're friends. That, that really happened. And Travis can vouch for me because he was there and he heard her say it. And after that, I just, zero chill. No chill at all. I just fangirled the F out and probably weirded Ashley out. So, yeah. That was exciting, though, because she knew who I was. I mean, she doesn't know what my name is. She doesn't know my name's Nina, but she knows my Instagram social media handle is LaFanceGeek. Geek. So that was exciting. So thank you, Ashley, for everything. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop there with all that fangirling anyway and move on to this. This is the softest cardigan in the entire world, or at least the softest cardigan I own. It's from um, We Love Fine, and it's got a whole bunch of like Marvel superheroes on it, and it's so soft, like it's ridiculous. I wore this to San Francisco, and um, I just I just wanted to go like this the whole time. So pretty, so soft. It feels like butter on your face. Mm. I recommend this. If you see this on their website, buy it. Buy it. It's beautiful and soft. Did I say it was soft? It's super soft. Also, um, this isn't on their website yet. They debuted it at Comic-Con, but when I saw it, I knew it had to be mine for obvious reasons. Look at it. It's a dress, right? With Deadpool, tacos, and flowers. If you know me, you know that I love floral print. I love dresses. Like, I hate pants. And it has pockets. What? This dress has motherfucking pockets. Like, okay, when I saw this, like, I had, there was no doubt in my mind that I was going to buy it because if you've been a reader of my blog for a while, I'm always talking about how I love, 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 love floral print anything mixed with nerdy stuff. So, this dress is just completely my aesthetic. Plus the pockets. The pockets are important, okay? I need to put my phone somewhere. It's nice to have my phone in my pocket just to know that it's there. And also like, you know, a pocket to put chapstick in because it's just nice, okay? Well, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So I'm gonna stop talking about this dress that's amazing and you should totally get it if you're into tacos and Deadpool and flowers as well and pockets on dresses and let's talk about this another thing that's nerdy with flowers it's a Star Wars purse by Loungefly and let me open it oh, it's so pretty and it's really roomy on the inside too with this like middle zipper closure so um, I went to Comic Con with just one purse it was just a small black nylon bag that I thought I would be okay with the whole time but it's just it was too small and I was getting kind of annoying and I stopped by Loungefly just to take a look at like what they had but um 
you know, I saw this and I was like, oh, that's really pretty. And I asked to look at it, just to look at it. But then the woman was like, oh, that's actually the last one that we have. And I was like, oh, okay, then let me buy it. Because when I see something I like and I know that they don't have a whole lot in stock anymore, it's just like, okay, it must be a sign from the shopping gods that I should have it. Like, I should buy it. And um, it's kind of funny because after, after I bought it, I was looking at it some more and I was like, this looks kind of familiar to me. And then I remembered I decoupaged this bag. Right? They look pretty similar. That's okay though. This is super pretty. And like Loungefly has really good quality and I believe that they use faux leather, like vegan leather. And nice little hardware back here. So it's like Loungefly to me I feel like is the Louis Vuitton of geek stuff. Like, they're Louis Vuitton for nerds. That's how I feel about Loungefly. So, me gusta. I also got this lanyard. Boop. It's got the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. And, um, you know, we always get a free lanyard at Comic-Con. But we, and we being my sister, her fiancé, and myself... Um, we skipped going up to the sales pavilion to pick up, like, the freebie, big-ass Warner Brother bag, because we were just like, we don't need that, we don't need the program, I don't want to walk around with all that. But we forgot <laughs> he kind of needs the lanyard, because this year they conveniently sent badges in, so that way we didn't have to line up and, like, pick them up. Like, it was just really, really, really convenient. But, yeah, we really we needed lanyards, so, um... That's why I bought this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. And I mentioned Katie Cook earlier. And even though I didn't get a piece of custom art, I did buy one of the prints she had. And it's King George from Hamilton. And it says, awesome. Wow. But you can't really see the tall shiny. He's so cute. Isn't he? Um, I wanted to get the Hamilton print, but it sold out because... Hamilton um and the only two that she had left were um King George III and uh Thomas Jefferson and it looked like a little tiny Dobby Diggs and he's like he's so cute but um since my room is super purple as you can see the Thomas Jefferson print was purple as well and I'm just kind of overwhelmed by the color so that's why I decided to go with King George and um I also got this poster with the purchase of um, a graphic novel. So they came out with a star, or <sighs> I can't talk, sorry. So by they, I mean Disney Publishing. They came out with a graphic novel that is of all the original Star Wars movies. And it's here somewhere. Here it is. Boop, so nice. And look who we have here, Lando Calrissian. And also my favorite, Admiral Akbar. <laughs> I blinked on his name and I just said he was my favorite. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited because like all the illustrations are pretty cool. What else did I get? I got a lot of stuff. Where's the rest? Oh, here. I got more espionage nail wraps. Espionage cosmetic nail wraps. This is from the Her Universe fashion show. It came in the grab bag that they put on every seat for the audience. Remember? Wait, I really can't talk. Oh my god. But yeah, um, I like these a lot because they look like lightsabers to me. So I'm going to save this for when Rogue One comes out. And um, I also got these ones at... Um, they had a little booth at Camp Carnival, which is um, what the Nerdist like, puts out every year now at um, Petco Park. So these are really pretty ones. These are Borderlands, and I'm going to give these to my mom because I showed her them when I FaceTimed her. And she's like, ooh, there's orange. So she likes orange. What can I say? Also got these ones that I'm wearing right now. They're really cute because it's like a binary code. And they go with my moss ring from the IT crowd. Look how cute he is. These are actually on sale on their website if you like them. They're like five bucks right now because they're discontinuing them. So if you like it, get on it. I also got this. This is from Fan Mailbox. They're like a really cute subscription service. I have yet to subscribe to one of the boxes yet though. But they, um, I saw this on their Instagram. They came out with a special bag, a mystery bag for Comic-Con. 
and I was a little hesitant at first because it's a hundred dollars which is a lot and, cause, and you don't know what you're buying except for this bag and this this is the reason why I wanted it because the bag is so pretty right like it's really good material too and it's got a zipper and it's got a quote from Khaleesi from Game of Thrones all men must die but we are not men right so I'm totally gonna use this when I go to San Francisco Comic Con next month because Jason Momoa is gonna be there for a photo op and I'm gonna do one so excited so um this bag was pretty clever though because it came with a um, Comic Con survival kit and it also has the same design as the tote bag but it's on like a little burgundy full leather pouch top quality stuff here guys um, so there's this water pouch that says aqua cola and I believe it's supposed to be like Mad Max except for I haven't seen the movie yet there's also this really clever one Stacy power bank that says with great power dot 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 so uh, I've actually used this a few times and at first um, I was a little confused about it because you know I went like this and I was like okay that is that's not gonna work with my iPhone right and my sister figured it out and then later I looked at the box that came in and it said you're supposed to do this boop there it is so I've actually used it a few times already so it's pretty convenient so um, I have a Mophie but I like having this as a backup so that's really nice <laughs> What else? What else? Band-aids. Super important. A pen, because that's also important too. I mean, I, I'm i a creative writing major, so like I always have to have a pen with me, but when you don't have one, I don't, you know, sh I'm gonna forget I said that. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about because I'm a little delusional right now. But uh, there's also this. Uh, it's an antibacterial spray. Super convenient. Just spray it. And it also came with some other stuff like this DC bombshell beanie. And it's got the little poofy on top. So the weather is not good for this yet, but when it gets colder, I'm pretty excited to wear it because look how cute it is. And it also came with another espionage nail wrap. Espionage cosmetics. I need to remember how to say the whole thing. <laughs> but um, it's really cute because this one is an exclusive one that they made ex just for this particular bag. And it's Hermione Granger themed. So it's got like a whole bunch of Gryffindor designs. It came with two. It came with two of them. But I was a nice sister and I gave it to my older sister. To share and it also came with um this really pretty scarf it was blue and it had like um stuff from Legend of Korra but um my sister is a like she's into um Legend of Korra I'm not because I haven't watched it I have heard nothing but good things about it but I just gave it to her because like I feel like she would have gotten more use out of it um it also came with this um speedy piece of jewelry with a little arrow cute and <clears throat> I'm starting to get nasally yikes it came with this sample book um, it's got an excerpt from Wonder Women 25 innovators inventors and trailblazers who changed history by Sam Maggs and also fangirls guide to the galaxy by Sam Maggs which I own and um, crafting with feminism by Bonnie Burton um, so, yeah, it's just, like, got a chapter from, like, each book. That's pretty cool. Um, I wanted to get the Wonder Woman book when, um, I was at Comic-Con, but, um, I didn't get a chance to stop by Cork Books booth like I did last year. And, but it came with a poster of the cover. So there's that. And, um, also... I haven't opened it yet, but it's got these trading cards where it's like ladies of the con. So it's a bunch of like different cosplayers that they like. So that's pretty neat that they're like doing a little shout out to them. So that's what all came in that bag. And um, I got this guy right here. 
how cute he is. This is General Hux, aka my Huxbin from Star Wars The Force Awakens, played by Donald Gleason. Look how cute he is with his little little hat. It's got the First Order emblem there, and it's on his sleeve. And he looks all mean and angry, like, go away, Kylo Ren, you're stupid. Right? He's so cute. <gasps> Love it. So, um, got that. And then I didn't get this at Comic Con, but it was a exclusive over at Funko, and they were selling it at Barnes & Noble as well. Um, I went kind of crazy because I didn't, you know, I was at Comic Con, so I didn't have a chance to go to Barnes & Noble. And I called a couple of my friends and said, hey guys, can you please see if this is at Barnes & Noble? Um, but neither of them found him. I called another friend in Pleasanton. She couldn't find it. And then my friend Travis, who I mentioned earlier, he, I saw him Instagram a picture of it when he went to the midnight release of um, The Cursed Child play. And um, I left a comment like, oh my god, do they have any more? And he said they did, but he, it was the... Oh my god. The store was an hour away from him, so, you know, it'd be inconvenient for him to, like, go and try and get one for me. But then his mom is super sweet, and she was like, let me see what I can do. And she she freaking got one for me. And she said that it was a belated, or not belated, but early birthday present for me. Like, she... Isn't that sweet? Like, I'm just... Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Grimm. I'm so happy that I have this because it's a little Hufflepuff, little Newt Scamander. I didn't even say his name. Yeah, it's Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I'm really excited about this movie. And look, he's got a little Hufflepuff scarf. Oh, so cute. I'm really excited. And I actually saw Eddie Redmayne at Comic Con. Um, I was walking through um, one of the aisles that towards the Warner Brother booth. And they were doing a signing, and I looked up at the screens to see who was there, and it was Eddie Redmayne, precious cinnamon roll. <gasps> so cute. So yeah, um, I think that's all I got. Oh my goodness, this is a long video. So yeah, um, if you liked what you saw, please hit like and subscribe, and in the comments below, if you went to Comic Con, let me know what you got too. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!